I accidentally kicked you though. Oh, I think he's out. Oh my! Hey, what's up guys welcome back to a new video and a new tutorial for davinci resolve today i'm going to be showing you how to turn uh any effect like quite literally any effect into a preset last video i showed a way to do it but the keyframes were going to be messed up for you guys because the preset that was linked to the specific keyframe so you you had to reset the keyframes and do it and that that still took a little bit of effort so today i'm going to be showing you like the literal easiest way to turn any effect into a preset so first we're going to need a clip i'm going to go ahead and trim this real quick just delete that part and yeah this is the clip and i'm going to be showing you how to add a effect to it and then turn it into a preset that you can add for other clips so first let's just go ahead and find the frame that the impact shot is which is going to be the first frame that the damage numbers show up and i'm going to go ahead and mark it press m on the keyboard <clears throat> next let's go ahead and select the adjustment clip you get the adjustment clip in the effects library by the way uh, you go ahead and go to the effects library on the top left corner You go down to effects and there should be adjustment clip and fusion composition. Go ahead and select adjustment clip And what you're gonna want to do is you want to trim it to like where the effect should be so it's gonna be like a little bit in front of the clip and then a little bit behind the clip or after the impact ends so that's gonna be how it is and what we're going to want to do is go ahead and select the adjustment clip, go into fusion. And now what you're going to want to do is you can add any effect on this thing. And literally, quite literally any effect on this thing. And you can add any effect on this thing that takes keyframes and will work. So for example, I'm going to just be adding something simple, just a glow. Easy, easy, simple glow. And we're gonna go ahead and keyframe the impact. Pretty simple stuff. I've showed in a lot of tutorials. And yeah, that's basically how the glow is gonna look. And let's go ahead and add a transform as well to add another screen pump. Again, this is pretty simple stuff. If you don't know how to do this, um, I recommend watching my other tutorials. The tutorials really helped out a lot of people. It got like quite a few hundred thousand, few thousand views, sixty thousand or something. And yeah, that's this is basically how the clip's gonna look. Uh, let me just go ahead and s make the keyframe look better as well. You guys should know how to do this effect thing. Well, I showed it in a lot of tutorials, so I don't want to see a lot of comments in the videos on on how to like do the transform and close. I, I will link a few t uh, of my tutorials in the description below that can teach you how to do this in depth but yeah that's basically how it's going to look right now and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you're on the frame of the impact or like the frame where everything is everything like all the effects climax you want to select the adjustment clip and press m you want to mark it and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy this if, copy this clip and let's go ahead and open my media pool and drag in another clip and I'm gonna trim this clip as well and boom we're gonna just put it side by side and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this effect so control C on the adjustment clip control C and then go ahead and find the frame of the impact as well. And go ahead and press M on the keyboard. And now we just paste it and then we want to align the two of these markers. So what you want to do is make put make sure your cursor is on like the marker that you want the adjustment clip to be on. You're going to drag it in front until everything syncs up like that. And this is basically how it's going to look.
yeah so it looks r really nice and like i could put more time into the effects but this is just a simple tutorial and you can really see how easy it is and you can copy the paste copy and paste the effect as many times as you want and it barely took like 30 seconds for me to do a clip right there so yeah pretty pretty easy so yeah that's basically how you edit a video really quickly i guess hope you guys enjoyed this i hope a lot of people learn from this and yeah see you in the next one peace